How's it going guys, the Cheese Ball here, and today I'm bringing you round 7 of the AFL Live Series. Or at least, again, it's, you know, it's not the real round 7, but uh, it's my best attempt. Uh, Fremantle versus Darwin at Patterson Stadium. Uh, it was a very good match, the original, and I'll tell you the scores at the end again. Same drill as the previous Darwin vs West Coast first match. Darwin vs West Coast first match. It makes absolutely no sense, but anyway... Three arrows line up there, don't need to see it. Do the toss, and we win it. Beautiful. And here we go. I haven't actually played AFL Live in a while, but uh, we'll see how I go. The bounce. And Aaron Sandlins, of course, wins the hit out. He goes straight to Wellingham. Great hand pass to Blease. Pass to Boke, who no one decides to mark it. The two players there. And Travis Boke will be nice. Hand pass off to Shuey, who will kick the first behind of the game. <laughs> Oh, that was useless. That was a really, really bad kick. Um, yeah. All right, Broughton doing the kick in. Try and cover where he's going to kick. He's going to kick the other side, though. But Johnson marks. Oh, player free out there on the boundary line. And it didn't go to him. And it went straight down the middle. Fucking Palmer, you fucking spud. Absolutely useless player. You're a hack. You don't deserve 600000 a year for Greater Western Sydney. Go piss off and play WAFL. Oh, beautiful mark, Pierce Hanley. And just hand pass it off straight away to Robbie Warnock, who can't run. To Lucas, no, that was, um... It said Lucas Cook on the thing, but it was Sheriff Wellingham sent a half forward for some reason. And line up. And kick, it's a straight kick. It hasn't got the carry. And rove it. No, it didn't work. Freer players getting the ball here. Sam Reed just turn around. Snap, it didn't work. Didn't get full boot on it. And Reed again, good tackle, Jeremy Howe, good tackle. Oh, bullshit, that was in the back. Anyway, the umpires hate me, and I really haven't come to understand that yet. Like, I mean, I know it, but I just, I still don't like it. Uh, it's a ball up, at least it wasn't a free against. So, Who's number three for free? I just standing in all the ruck contests there, what an idiot. Um, another ball up, we got it forward, Kieran Harper got tackled there. Look, just cooking the ruck. Okay. I mean, Aaron Sandler is guaranteed to win the hit out. Another ball up. This is boring. This is like rugby. All right. Let's go. Lucas Cook again. Great tap. Not really. I thought it was a great tap. I thought I had all Darwin players down there, but it was a good tackle from that Frio player. I got a player out here. Hands. Good hands. Kieran Harper had snapped out of the pack. Didn't work. And, oh, fuck. They got out. Rockliffe marks. He's a good mark. And I'll try and spot someone up. Just go short. Oh, he didn't work. But Lucas Cook can get on the end of it. Good kick. Great kick to Jeremy Howe. Just spotted him up. Didn't didn't choose the selfish option of going for goal. And just spotted him right on the chest. That hit him in. First goal again to Jeremy Howe. It's a great kick. And a great goal. Don't need to see the replay because... Well, it wasn't an awesome goal, but... Really, they, they should have shown Lucas Cook's kick in the highlights. That was a beautiful kick. Um, anyway, Lucas Cook again. Getting his hands on the footy early. Oh, too high. And not advantage. Um, definitely would have gotten out. There's a player free. Uh, it's Wellingham. Gets spoiled, though. Mundy gets involved. Good tackle. Sherrod. It's a real weird name, Sherrod. Um, yeah, Lucas Cook in the ruck again. Good hands from Sandlin's in my favour. Uh, oh, didn't get it. Damn it. Good spoil. Really dominating the play so far. Because it's funny, Frio for this game were 4 and 2. They were in the top 6 or so. They were a good side. Um, so, really interesting that we're dominating them at this stage. They haven't got an inside 50, I don't think. Um, silly kick there, goes short, didn't work. Now they will get an inside 50 because they've got players free. And Shammar Marks, that was, that's who number three is. I forgot. Uh, just go backwards to David Mundy. He was a great player. And the siren goes before they get a chance to bomb it inside 50. Frio scoreless at quarter time. That's fantastic. And Darwin 1-1-7. Leading by seven points, obviously. Leading the possession. Free kicks are even, which I'll say that's in my favour. Tackles winning, which is... Funny considering the percentage of possession that we've got. Uh, Marks losing as always. Turnovers none. That's brilliant. 
uh, disposals and the inside 50s of course were dominating those stats as well. So all good stuff, great start from Darwin so far. Doesn't look like it'll be such a high scoring affair. Um, so every goal counts. And I'll have to, have to keep going, have to do a four quarter effort. Can't let Frio get an inside 50. Holding the ball, Tommy Rockliffe, beautiful. As that Frio player sticks his arms out and appeals for a free kick. Well, that's a shocking kick to Mickey Barlow. And, oh, fucking broke the tackle. And Mellington Marks, who hasn't played a game yet for Frio, he can still rack up a spot in the best 22 in AFL Live. It's just weird. He doesn't get the distance on the kicks. That'll be spoiled through for a behind. Choosing the safe option. And let um, whoever that was in the um, goal square mark. Short kick. Oh, Paul Duffield. Fuck me out. Damn it. Uh, it's a good kick too. Scores a level. Only took five minutes. Of a, well, it only really took one lapse of concentration. I mean, a good play for Freo getting inside 51st. And then just that poor kick. Real poor kick. Just didn't kick it flat. I mean, I should should have done a stab pass. But, um, too late for that. And too late on the hit out. Good tackle though. Hands out to absolutely no one. Just a pack of Freer players. Good mark, Robbie Warnock. Who was back in the ruck. Player free out there in Wellingham. Good mark. Another player free, that Chewy. And hand pass out to that Darwin player. It was a shocking hand pass over the head. Doesn't work. And good linking hand pass. Duncan can run onto it. And, oh no. I was trying to go for the absolute scream of a goal. Wellingham picks it up and snaps it through for a brilliant goal. I mean, he was on his own, but still, to kick it from there. Five disposals, one goal. Wellingham is best on ground at the moment, by far. And just easy drop punt. It was a great kick. Real great kick. Um, yeah. Alright. Darwin by six points. Gonna win these here. It's Aaron Sandal is an absolute bitch. You know, just in the ruck. Because I'm um, playing online. Like, people do custom teams and stuff. And they always have Aaron Sandal in the ruck. Because he's by far the best ruckman. And basically, if they get it, like, while the ball's at the highest, they will win the hit out every time. And it's just so bloody annoying. It's, like, people will play at, as Frio just so they have Aaron Sandilands and Matthew Pavlich. They're just two absolutely dominant figures in this game. And really, they haven't had the impact they should have. Which is um, surprising. Liam Shields can't get back. Nathan Five takes another good mark. He's a great player, Nathan Five. But a bad kick to Nick Lower against his old club. I think Nathan Five was targeting out Nick Lower. I think he was his teammate there, but didn't work. The former Port Adelaide player. And it goes to Boke, who is the former Port Adelaide player as well, McFarlane Marks. And he's got nothing to go to except for Zolo. Kick it to my teammates, it's beautiful. I'll just hold it up here until I find something. Just good hand passes there, got Shuey on his own. He can just run in from 35 and just gets the goal. Only just. It's a good kick though. Shuey's had six disposals, he's had a lot of the footy. He's been playing really well and I'm happy with that goal. Makes up for the miss, I think, definitely. All right, so Bleas, I think, was on there. He hasn't had much of the footy, Sammy Bleas. You should have a field day on a ground like this. You absolutely need pace on this ground. You need people who can run and run really quick because it's a huge ground. Good kick from someone to Fazolo. <laughs> I still can't pick up the numbers of the team of um, my players quick enough to be able to know who it is who passes to who. But Fazzolo gets the goal, and the lead stretches again as the mailman drops off the mail at the front door. <laughs> and off he goes. <laughs> That's random. Why am, I, why am I talking about the mailman on an AFL Live live com? That just makes no sense. As does the saying AFL live live com. Repeating the word live twice in a twice in a row just doesn't make sense. But Robbie Warnock, good tackle. Very good tackle. Um, I'll just bomb it forward because I got nothing else to go to. It was a good kick in the end. The Liam Shields. Ooh. Alright. Okay. Let's do this after the siren. It's a good kick. 
Oh, it's a very good kick. Liam Shields, I love you for kicking that goal with your first disposal. That's a beautiful kick. Really got under that one. Easily carried. Went into the crowd. And Darwin by uh, 24 points. Welling and Boken Shui really just, just dominating the disposals. Um, yeah, leading the possession by even more. Free have had one inside 50 for one goal one. That's funny. Um, yeah, they're leading the tackles now. Free kicks were winning somehow. Uh, Hibats were getting back in my favour, sort of. I think it was pretty even for that quarter. Uh, Marks losing, that's normal. Turnovers, that's good. Uh, handball's good, kick's good, yeah, blah, 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 blah. We don't need to read this. This isn't, this isn't even a game in the actual season. I don't need to read the stats. I don't need to enlighten you with everything everything that happens in the game. This is really isn't a relevant game. <laughs> and it's just purely for your entertainment. Yeah, that's, that's what I do. And I enjoy it. I love it. I love playing A4 Live. It's, great. <laughs> it's not a great game. I take that back. And... Hutchins takes the mark, and he's going to play on for some reason. I don't know why I did that, but good kick anyway to Hooley. You can just run and almost get tackled, but he kicks it down the ground, down the wing, and Fazzolo gets to it first. Oh, decent hands. Cook gets to it. Pack gets to it. Oh, Hooley again. Oh, great. Great hands out of a pack. The target wasn't so good, but he got the tackle off, that's for sure. And I'll try and get to Hooley again for the down the ground goal. That'd be awesome, but um, nah, it didn't work. If only I got like the linking hand passes and went back to Hooley to kick the goal, that would have been fantastic. Because that was surely in the back against Jeremy Howe. And it wasn't counted. It was absolute bullshit. Um, yeah. Good tackle by two Darwin players there. Eh? That's absolutely useless, so it wasn't a good tackle. And. In the ruck goes Travis. Tra that said Travis Boak for a second. It was Lucas Cook. Uh, yeah. Oh, fucking breaking the tackle. I don't know who that was, but he was breaking the tackle. I absolutely hate it when that happens. It just ruins all my plans. I'm just like, Grah! Like, what are you doing? Nick Law. What are you doing? You're just running away from the footy. That's like Kale Morton esque. Jesus. Alright. And good play there. Getting it forward, Zaharakis, who hasn't had much of the footy today. Good hands over the back. Duncan gets free, gets surely in the back. Surely. Wasn't paid though. And Reed will get onto it. Kick forward in the direction of Howe. Good tackle. Oh, I think it was Ibbotson. Good hand back. Just need to... Oh, fuck. <laughs> Somehow, it's, it always happens. Somehow. A free air player just gets that laser hand pass out, and they start getting these good kicks down the line. Just absolutely pinpoint. And they just see like that. This is just perfect on the lead to Nathan Five. Hanley had no chance there. It just always happens. Somehow they do that unrealistic laser hand pass and just goes straight to them. It's pulling marks over Pavlich. It's fantastic to see. Uh, Pavlich getting torn up by Bashar Hooley's Crowley does a hammy. That's fantastic. <laughs> Oh no, not Hutchins, my full back. That's that's disappointing. And pushing the back in not in my favour. I thought it was. It was a shocking kick anyway. To Lucas Cook, who's in the back line. Oh my god! Chris Main kicked the goal. That's the only way it's ever gonna happen if someone on my team hand passes it to him while he's on his own. See look at that. I hand passed back and went between two O1 players. Chris Main was just standing there like the absolute idiot he is. And that's a rare sight, people. Save of the moment, Chris Mayne has kicked the goal. As unrealistic as that is. You know, it's just... That's that's entertainment. <laughs> Chris Mayne, the absolute unco full forward. And soccering it sideways to the free player's advantage. Rockcliffe does a fucking hammy as well. Fuck you, AFL Live. Alright, and Rand. Matthew Pavlich is now taking marks. And he will kick the goal. Because he's an absolute champion in this game. It's so unrealistic. No, he misses. At the end of the quarter. Uh, Frio trail by 17 points. But I tell you what, the game wants me to lose still. Uh, Wellingham 10 touches. It's fantastic. I did not score in that quarter. At all. And I had three inside 50s. 
Uh, Frio now leading the possession percentage, the hit outs, free kicks are back in their favour. Uh, tackles, marks, turnovers, they're losing. Um, yeah, it's getting close. Um, really, really was dominated in that quarter, I reckon. Really did not play my... Oh, wait. So, just give me a sec. What am I, what am I doing? I'm unco. I'm so unco. Um, Diagon can come off for whoever's done absolute jack shit. Bachelor. Thank you very much. Alright. Sandilands v. Cook. Not Sandilands v. v. Warnock as it's supposed to be. Because Warnock has no stamina in this game. It's real, it's real shit. I wish I didn't pick him as my Ruckman. As Pavlich takes another mark. Uh, it's useless. <sighs> Excuse me. Uh, the pack goes out to... Oh, what am I doing? I'm kicking backwards. At least Diagon can take a mark. And useless kick to Hanley. And Fife takes a mark, because he can't be outmarked. That's just how it is. And centering kick to Pavlich again. Pavlich has taken four marks in the last five minutes. Absolutely turned the game on its head. And this is going to be close, because he's going to kick this. And he does. Ugh. Fuck. <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay, he's taking three marks, so take that back. Three disposals, three marks. And this is bullshit. And you know, really, I should have actually subbed one of my injured players off. That was stupid. I should have... Should have another spoonerism there. Should have subbed Hutchins off for, um... Daigon. That would mean much smarter. What? What are you doing, Basha Huli? What are you doing? When some, when one of your teammates is kicking the footy, do not smother it. Do not stand in his way. Get out of his fucking way and let him kick. Fucking hell. Oh my god, Hanley has done a calf now. And they've kicked... Stephen Hill has kicked an absolutely unrealistic goal. Fuck AFL Live. You can go suck my dick. Jesus. <laughs> Why am I doing this series? AFL Live is a horrible game. If this happens in the season, if I if I lose like this in the season, I'm destroying my PlayStation. Uh, I, w I won't do that. I won't ever do that. I love my PlayStation too much, but... Uh, oh my god, Lucas Cook again. Laser hands, beautiful kick. And thank you. I can breathe a sigh of relief. Lucas Cook kicks another goal. Surely he will win the Brownlow this season. He's an absolute fucking champion. I think I'm swearing too much in this commentary. I really need to take a chill pill. I just need to calm down. Uh, I'm just... I'm getting too into a practice game. It's like... It's like supporting the NAB Challenge Cup. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. And it's just... Stupid. Oh my god, he stopped! Sam Blease, get in the footy. He, he just stopped. And breaks breaks the tackle. And the midget he is. That was good. That was good work. Mundy does a shoulder. That's fantastic. It's really good. If anyone needs to be injured... Harper! Beautiful! <laughs> oh, that was awesome. And decent mark from Borok. Decent is an understatement. That was actually a very good mark. And Reed in the best position takes the good mark. And he will go back and kick the goal. Yes! Yes! I rushed that. But he still kicked it. Which is the important thing. And Darwin by 16 points. I'd say the game would be pretty much wrapped up in our favour. But you never know. Anything could happen like that. As long as Deboa kicks it. But, um, instead of breaking tackles. What am I doing? I'm just absolutely mashing buttons. I'm just... See? I'm mashing buttons. I'm, just, I'm stupid like that. And... Okay, free to Frio. Perfectly normal. Shouldn't be expecting otherwise. Bad kick. Hooli does a groin. See? The game hates me. That's perfect evidence right there. And Warnock goes back and takes a strong mark. Nick lower. Clear it. And Cook, again, is an absolute champion. If you don't have him in your team, get him. He's an absolute fucking champion. And good hands out of the contest. Um, push in the back in my favour, yes. Oh no, Kieran Harper. From how far back? If I kick this goal, you have to like this video. I'm going to go over the top. And 
from inside the centre square, shanks it a little bit, and off hands through for what was in the behind. But anyway, we win that game. Shield, Shui, Cook, the goals, all single goal kickers, all single figures in the goal kicking. If I can phrase that sentence correctly. Good game, Welling and Boak Shui getting amongst the disposals. Pavlic had only had an impact on the game. Well, he had an impact for a quarter, and that really turned the game on its head. But uh, anyway, good match there. Another win. But really, the result in round seven, the real round seven, was actually different. Yet, Darwin is still undefeated. Yes, if you are quick witted enough, we drew round seven. Frio 7 5 47, Darwin 7 5 47. It was very close, I can tell you that. It was just absolutely intense game. That's why I wanted to upload it. That's why I was so disappointed. But, yeah, I can't do it anymore. It's unfortunate. But anyway, rounds 8 through to rounds 34 in the finals will all be the actual rounds 8 to rounds 34 in the finals. I will make sure that happens. Um, nothing else can go wrong. <laughs> I hope. But anyway, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you could rate the video, that'd be fantastic. Um, I'll see you guys later.